Hello everyone, I am Tamalika Chakraborty, Faculty of Department ASD from Ashtavakra Institute of Rehabilitation Sciences and Research and today I am going to deliver a lecture about hearing impairment. Now, here we came to the definition of hearing impairment. Hearing impairment as a disability category is similar to the category of deafness but it is not the same. The official definition of a hearing impairment by the Individuals with Disability Education Act is an impairment in hearing, whether permanent or fluctuating, that adversely affects the child's educational performance, but it's not included under the definition of deafness. Hence, knowing the definition of deafness is necessary to understand what sort of disabilities are considered hearing impairments. A hearing loss above 90 decibels is generally considered deafness, which means that a hearing loss below 90 decibels is classified as a hearing impairment. Hearing impairment means an impairment in hearing, whether permanent or fluctuating, that adversely affects a child educational performance again. There are some symptoms of hearing loss, depending on the type of hearing loss, the causes of hearing loss and the degree of loss. In general, people who have hearing loss may experience any of the following, such as difficulty understanding everyday conversation, a feeling of being able to hear but not understand having to turn up the TV or radio, asking others to repeat often. Also avoidance of social situations that were once enjoyable, increased difficulty communicating in noisy situations like restaurants, lively family gatherings, in the car or in a group meeting, ringing a door, buzzing sounds in the ears. The causes of a particular hearing loss is important to understand since it factors heavily into determining the right treatment. There are many causes of hearing loss and some causes are responsible for only certain type of hearing loss. For example, ear wax blocking the ear canal causes a temporary conductive hearing loss while prolonged exposure to excessively loud noise causes permanent sensual hearing loss. Genetic factors, prolonged exposure to excessively loud noise, a single episode of acoustic trauma, certain illness such as mumps, meninger's disease, a tumor on the acoustic nerve or acoustic neuroma. Hearing loss can be caused by any of the following. Advancing age, age-related hearing loss is called presbyosis. Certain medications sometimes called autotoxic drugs, trauma or injury to the head can be also caused for hearing loss. Hearing loss is a well understood medical condition that has many trial and true treatment options. Finding the right treatment is a joint venture between you and your hearing care professional and if done properly, takes into consideration of the factors like types of hearing loss, severity of hearing loss, cause if known, your lifestyle also. Also some causes are your cosmetic preferences, your budget, some types of hearing loss, especially conductive types can be medically or surgically correct, but others cannot. The most common treatment for sensual hearing loss is properly fitted hearing aids. Hearing aids are widely available in the range of styles, colors, size, technology levels. There are certain types of hearing loss we would be discussing now. Auditory processing disorders occur when the brain has problems processing the information contained in sound, such as understanding speech, working out where sounds are coming from. Next, conductive hearing loss. It occurs when there is a problem with the outer and middle ear which interferes with the passing sound in the inner ear. It can be caused such as things as too much ear voice, ear infection, a punctured eardrum, a fluid buildup or abnormal bone growth in the middle ear such as autosclerosis. It is more common in children and population. Surgery and some types of hearing technologies can be used to treat conductive hearing loss such as bone conduction hearing aids, bone anchored hearing devices and middle ear implants. A mixed hearing loss occurs when both conductive hearing loss and sensual hearing loss are present. The sensual component is permanent while the conductive component can be either be permanent or temporary. For example, a mixed hearing loss can occur when a person with Prebiosis also has an ear infection. Sensory neural hearing loss occurs when the hearing organ, the cochlea or the auditory nerve is damaged or malfunctions, so it is unable to accurately send the electrical information to the brain. 
such hearing loss is almost always permanent. It can be genetic or caused by natural aging process, diseases, accidents or exposure to the loud noises such as noise induced hearing loss and certain kind of chemicals and medications. Auditory neuropathy is another form where the nerves that carry sound information to the brain are damaged or malfunctions. So I hope you have understand the topic of concept of hearing impairment and its causes. Thank you so much.